Hey everybody, I'm back. This time the RF switch. Let's go ahead and take it apart. Let's remove this wire off of it. I'm going to put this one on it, shorten it up some, and see if I can get a more clear picture out of this uh, top loader Nintendo. So my day is going really good. Just chillaxing. Having fun doing something that I've been wanting to work on for a while for a project and that would be this particular one right here. Okay, to make this a little easier I'm just going to snip it right there with a pair of side cutters. Because that looks like it's going to be on there, on there for a while. Snip that off. And then we're going to go ahead and take this over here. Now remember that this goes in here this direction so that when we put it back together again the board meets the actual screw set side set okay so it's not going to be too bad right there I do like that it was actually attached that way but I could already see that it's going to be an issue. This is going to get in my way too for a little bit. There's like leftover flux residue on it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to probably snip it free from the board too. Give me a second, I'm going to do it off camera. Yeah, I could already see where it, it meets up to at the board. Here we go. Oh, and I don't even have them just use this instead. This is the positive terminal, which I already snipped, and this is negative terminal right here. So it feeds into this side right there on that one. That'd be the positive out on the RF, and the other two would be the negative. Cool. Alright, give me a second. The camera's kind of in the way. Alright, I'm back. I thought maybe the camera was going to be in the way while I was working on this, but nope. I just want this holder and bracket, because I'm going to reuse it. At least I'm going to attempt to. Let's get this wire out of here. There we go. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll desolder the one. <laughs> desolder just this one little spot right there. And then fit it through. Sorry about for bumping the camera. I'm gonna bring it up to you so you can see what I'm doing with my hair go. Goes up pretty quick, doesn't it? Got a nice, fast heating soldering iron, that's for sure. I'm really happy with that. Eight hundred already. All right, adjust the camera again. And I'm gonna bring her down just a little bit too, so you can so I can see what I'm doing and keep the camera out of my way. Sometimes the camera is actually more accurate visually for what I can see it than with just my eye because of like residue. Flux, you know, see all that flux that was left over on this thing? Gee, I wonder why it wasn't working right. No, I'm kidding.
As I was stating before, my day was, is, has been and is going really, really well. You want to make a comment down below about what your day is going like? Feel free to discuss it. So I'm still in the process of looking for a uh, vehicle. So it's this one right there. That's the one I need to desolder. Or at, at, least, at least heat it up and then just kind of like remove all that. Or attempt to. Uh, before I even do that, I need to put some flux down. You ain't gotta have that flux, or otherwise it's not gonna do nothing. It'll just sit there. Sorry for bumping the camera. Yeah, this is gonna be your first time doing any of this stuff, so you're gonna be seeing me bump the camera probably quite a bit. So my apologies if this is a uh, you know less than uh, quality video. I'm doing is just a learning experience. Hmm, what should I use? Desolder wick. There's my braid. Okay, I'm gonna use my helping hands here, I'm thinking, just to keep this from floating around, because it is being nothing but a nuisance with that, uh, that coaxial cable on it. I'm trying to see through the camera, it's just obnoxious. We'll get there though. Just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Actually, I'm going to drop it all the way down. These helping hands are, I think this one's so old that it's just what it is. Okay. My soldering braid. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit klutzy today. It's one of those days, man. You know, it's like... There we go. I, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I wish it would have worked that well all the other times I've been doing this. Did you see? I don't know if you can see that or not, but okay, give me a second here. I think it just immediately dropped right out.
Yeah, let me roll it over real quick so you can see those components. All right, now it's time for the new wire. I think I might need to need, might need to uh, shrink this up just a little bit so that, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out here. That's for sure. Where this goes right here, and this goes right here like that. So yeah, I am gonna have to shrink that down just a little bit. This will place right there like that. Awesome. And that came out of there. Oh yeah. It's clear. I'm gonna tin this real quick. I only need to uh, just tin the one side of it. And I'll put it on the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. So just enough right there. I may tap this into just to get it so that it won't fray on me while I'm working on it. Estimate the power of that flux. Sure that I have enough wire peeking through. Yep, I do. Put you right down in there. I'll get my screwdriver right quick to sort of wedge that in there. You know, I'm gonna separate this a little bit more apart. And then I'll just use my needle nose pliers to crimp it back down onto it. Wow, it really needs to be separated apart, doesn't it? Come on now. 
this should work really well here in a little bit. This is going to make me very happy when I get that top loader looking good and sharp. All right, at least as best as it possibly can be at this point. Flip her back over again. Uh, I need to put some more flux down. I may hit some of these other components up too, just because. You can see a little bit of a, maybe a weak solder joint here and there. some old solder, one or the other, you know, that kind of thing. Alright, here's the magic. Alright, that was like my offhand. You can see how, how uh, twitchy it is. My left. That'll do it. I'm going to turn this off now. Start getting cleaned up some. Oops, sorry for off the camera stuff. I don't even know if any of that was even captured. Sorry about all that. I just got caught up in the moment. So yeah, this is definitely something that I've been wanting to do for a while now since I actually had this particular um, RF switch. I wanted to, so I was going to end up using something else. You know, like one from a different console. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to use this one. I just wish that this, that there was a way to upscale analog. You know, I know there's probably something out there that will do that, but I just want a mainstream version of it so that I don't have to tear my entire console apart and put that kit for HDMI on it. Give me a second here. I see something I need to do.
yeah, I got a lot of little fuzz and stuff on here, so. Alright, um, it's like, focus, focus, come on. Put her back together again. Yeah, come on, focus. I'll put her back together again and uh, test her out inside the console here in a second. See you guys in a few. It's me again. This time, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Let's go ahead and check her out. This is just a, a test on the RF switch. Since I shortened the cord up on it. This is channel 4. Wow, that looks really, really good. Considering that it's RF. And this is AV. That's AV. That's channel four. Not too bad. All right, let's see what it looks like now on the uh, top loader. It says the top letter does not have AV out at all. This is probably going to be the best that we're going to get it at. It looks actually really sharp, doesn't it? Considering that it's just RF. Yeah, no, that, that uh, shortening the wire really helped out a lot. Of course, changing your channel from 3 to 4 also helps, too. I don't have a controller hooked up to it, so this is the best we're going to get. But yeah, uh, that's awesome. Looks good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I want to see what it looks like here after I play it for a second. So do I, uh, do I prefer my top loader over the uh, traditional console? No, I like my original control deck better. I could play Game Genie on it, or the uh, Game Enhancer. It has AV out without any modifications done to it. I mean, it's nice, but like I said, I prefer the uh, the original control deck much better. I know everybody's like, oh, well, you got to mess around with the cartridge and stuff. Well, with this one here, you have to still mess around with the cartridge. It's just not as frequent. But this one, and once you clean it and you get it just right, you're not going to have those issues either. But we'll see with this one here. You get crystal clear audio video that you normally would not be getting with your top loader. So, do I like this one? Yes. If you can find one that has the HDMI mod already into it, make sure that comes from a reputable uh, distributor, person that really knows what they're doing. Because you really do have to, you know, take the entire PCB. You know, you gotta take the, the, the what the MMU and the 
PPU off of the board, put a socket down, and then put that ribbon down for the HDMI to be captured out of it. It's some crazy process of what you have to do to that poor deck. And it's like, why didn't they make them that way? Well, they didn't, it never existed. So this is the best we're going to get. And I like my stuff stock, so the likelihood of me ever having any of my stuff changed, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. See, I like this one just like this. And if I want to upscale her, I really don't need to have upscaled. I like the gnarly graphics that were of this era. There's another thing too is that there's always the other consoles that are out there that I know some of them are emulation system, but we have analog NT that's out there and that thing is just amazing. I would love to get my hands on one of those analog NT for the for both the SNES and the regular NES. I'd love to have it. But I suppose that'll wrap it up. I mean I I tried to fix the RF switch. It worked for all you know, for all intents and purposes. It it worked. It's just, um, it's just not a high quality picture versus AV out on the control deck. And this is the reason why I waited so long to do this stuff is because I wanted one of these and I finally got one and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> so happy gaming, stay safe, take care everyone.